Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a unique team of qualified and dedicated teachers here to help our students to reach their full potential. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about parallel circuits. Um, last lesson, we have seen what happens to current and voltage. Uh, in a series circuit. We also discuss about resistance in a series circuit. In today's lesson, we're going to look at uh, what happens to current um, in a parallel circuit, uh, what happens to um, potential difference of voltage um, in a parallel circuit, and we'll discuss a bit about the resistance as well, and we'll have a chance to do some calculations as well. So that's a bit of starter for you. Uh, from last lesson, what are the advantages to um, a series circuit and what are the disadvantages of using a series circuit? Um, and also, uh, just look around yourself in, in your household. Can you think of any components that may be placed in a series circuit? Think of the lightning um, lights, bulbs in your house, um, in the cars, in the shops, um, Christmas lighting, um, all that. So think of um, whether those um, circuits in our houses, um, in the cars, uh, decoration circuits, lights and bulbs and all that stuff, LED lights, uh, whether they are connected in a series circuit or a parallel circuit. So just have a little think. Uh, you can talk uh, along the lines that series circuits, they are easy to build and they are cost effective as well. Uh, the disadvantage is that if one component in a circuit breaks, uh, the whole circuit is not going to work or the components after that point are not going to work. So think along those lines. Well, that's just a quick recap of what we did last lesson. Um, series circuits. So the rules for current potential difference and resistance in a series circuit are um, the current, so current remains the same at every single component in a series circuit. The potential difference, which is also called voltage, so don't get confused. Uh, potential difference and voltage are the same thing in GCSEs. So potential difference or the voltage is shared between the components. So current remains the same for each component and the voltage or the potential difference uh, is shared uh, between the components. That thing again, uh, the resistance, the total resistance in a series circuit is the sum of the resistances of each component in the circuit. Now what does that mean? You simply add up the values of all the resistances given to you in the question. So if they are, or if they give you three resistance, they have three ohms, three ohms, and three ohms, add them together. So the value is going to be nine ohms. So simply add the value of resistance in a series circuit to find out the total resistance in a circuit. All right, so last week we have, we have discussed about series circuits. So in a series circuit, all the components, they are drawn or connected in a single loop. In a parallel circuit, in a, in a, in a parallel circuit, uh, there will be more than one options. There will be more than one loops um, or there will be more than one paths uh, the current can flow. So the parallel circuit is one where components, they are connected in separate loops. So current has options. In a series circuit, the current has only one option, only one loop. Um, in, in, a, in, in a parallel circuit, the current has got options. Um, so they are connected in separate loops and each component is placed um, along a different path. So the current has a choice to go along this loop or go along this loop as well. So that's a simplified version. That is what we draw in exam or that is what the exam question would be. That's a symbol of a battery or a cell. That's a lamp here or filament bulb, and that's a bulb here. 
So current has a choice either to go from here and here. So that's what happens in a parallel circuit. Right, so if we look at these two circuits here carefully, so that's a series circuit because both the bulbs are connected in one loop. So current has got only one route. There's only one loop. Look at this one. This is a parallel circuit where we've got these two bulbs are connected in a, in a parallel circuit. There the are two possible routes for the current to go through. Now these little green dots, that is what you call the energy carried per unit charge. So the definition of voltage or potential difference is energy carried per unit charge. So the charge is that uh, these uh, red trolleys and what they carry on them is the energy. The so six volts, and it's quite nicely they're re represented here, six volts means six green beads. And the energy will get transferred to the component which is used to do work. In this case, it's light, it could be heat, could be anything. So they get refilled, the energy get transferred to the component. So in a, in, a, in a parallel circuit, the most important thing we want to notice from here, the voltage across the battery in a parallel circuit is six volts. The voltage across the first component is six volts and uh, the voltage across the second component is uh, six volts again. So that means the voltage remains the same in a parallel circuit. That is what we've been asked to think or explain. So can you explain any rules for the parallel circuit? So one rule, uh, one rule which we just spotted here, the voltage or potential difference remains the same in a parallel circuit. But the current is shared. So current has got two options now. It can go this way or this way. So current is shared in a parallel circuit, but the voltage or the potential difference remains the same. If you look at here, the current has got only one choice. It has to go through all the components. So current will remain the same. Current can't split. But if you look at carefully here, the voltage supplied by a battery is six volts, but the voltage across this component here is three volts, and the voltage across this component um, here is three volts again. So in a series circuit, the voltage is shared, but the current remains the same. So current has got only one choice. And that is what we did last lesson. So in a series circuit, the current remains the same, but the, but the voltage is shared. In a parallel circuit, the voltage remains the same, but the current is shared. That is what we want to memorize. Right, just have a look at these um, questions here. So all you have to remember, if it is series circuit, and if you're talking about current, the current remains the same in a series circuit. That's a key thing you need to remember. The current remains the same in a series circuit. And when they talk about potential difference of voltage in a series circuit, that's just the other around. So if the current is the same, the voltage or the potential difference is shared. So if you can remember two rules for the series circuit, for parallel circuit, they're just the other around. So if the current remains the same in a series circuit, the current will be shared in a parallel circuit. If the potential difference of voltage is shared in a series circuit, it will remain the same in a parallel circuit. These four rules we need to memorize. 
and that's going to be a guaranteed exam question in exam. And more than 60% of the people, they get these questions wrong because the things will get mixed up. So make sure, just make a note of that and memorize those facts. The potential difference is the sum of potential difference of each component or each cell in the series circuit. And the total resistance in a series circuit is equal to the sum of the resistance of each component. So if you look at this uh, circuit diagram here, uh, here we can visualize what will happen to the current in a parallel circuit. So the current here is two amps and that's shared. One amp goes here and one amp goes here. So current is shared in a parallel circuit. So in a parallel circuit, the current divides at the junction and joins back to complete the circuit again. So the two amp current, one amp goes there, one amp goes there, they'll combine together again and you will get two amp back there. So this means that the current is not the same at all parts of a parallel circuit. So current is different across all the components in a parallel circuit. Again, we're trying to enforce this fact, what you need to remember, the current is shared in a parallel circuit. You need to memorize this, you need to remember this. But for this question, what is the resistance decrease in a parallel circuit? Simply think of uh, a corridor in a school. So during lunchtime uh, or when you finish the school, um, if there's only one corridor, then there'll be more resistance, there'll be more collisions between the students and the flow of the students would be less. That means there's more resistance in the circuit. Uh, if there are more than one corridors available, then the kids, uh, it's easy for the kids to move uh, freely and the flow would be faster as well. Uh, that's why the resistance is going to be less in a parallel circuit because the current has got the option, current has got different routes it can follow. Uh, again, you, don't, you do not need to know how to calculate the overall resistance of a resistance in a parallel circuit. We do need to know how to find this for the series circuit. So the series circuit is simply add them together. But you don't need to know how to calculate the total resistance in a parallel circuit. That's, you're going to do that if you choose to do A-levels. Now, in summary, these are the points you need to copy and paste in your mind. For series circuit, the current remains the same at any point, but the potential difference is shared. And if you want to find out the total resistance, simply uh, add, up the, or add up all the values of the resistance given, and you will get the total answer. And the main thing we need to remember the total resistance increases. So the more resistance, resistance you add, the more is the total resistance in a circuit. But don't worry about that if you don't get this. They don't normally ask that in exam. These two points from here and these two points from here. So current in a parallel circuit is shared and potential difference uh, remains the same and the overall resistor decreases as well if you add more re uh, resistors in the circuit. Let's have a look at some exam questions here. Um, that's, these exam questions are based upon the fact of what we've learned. Um, it's, it's a good idea to go over these points before you attempt um, those exam questions. Um, if you're okay with these four key points, then you shouldn't be having any problems uh, doing the exam questions. What you can do, pause the screen, take your time. Um, you might need to um, jiggle the things around a little bit. Uh, you might need to do a bit of calculations. Um, I'll give you a clue. 
uh, when it comes to uh, to A, you have to use the formula, what you call Ohm's law. So Ohm's law, if you don't know what it is, that's V equals I times R. So voltage equals current times resistance. Now don't worry if you don't remember that, um, that will be given to you in the formula sheet anyway in the exam. So you might need to uh, use that formula there. So take your time, do the questions, and we're gonna look at the answers in a minute. Right, these are the answers here. Uh, you can mark them. Um, if you get them right, time to celebrate. If you get them wrong, time for revision. That's question number one. And that's question number two. A, draw the circuit diagram with three resistance in, resistances in parallel, the two ohm there, three ohms and, and six ohm. Um, and that's the formula we were talking about, Ohm's law, V equals IR. You have to rearrange that formula to make I as the subject of the formula. So V equals IR, that means I equals V over R. Plug the values in and you'll be fine. Uh, that's for question number three. <clears throat> and explain your answers So current splits at junctions and add together at the junctions again. You can't lose current in a circuit at all. And these are the answers for the last question there. So again, if you get them right, you can have a chocolate. If not, it's not time for the chocolate. Go back, revise again, watch the uh, video again, try to do the question again, and hopefully you'll get them right um, second time. Thanks for watching. If you find the information useful, please subscribe, share, and like the video.